Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So welcome to another must have Monday. So uh, last week I shared with you guys my uh, newborn must haves. So I'll have that in the description box if you wanna go ahead and check it out. But today I'm gonna to be talking about my cleaning must haves. So I'm a stay at home mom, so cleaning is my responsibility in our house. Also a couponer, so it pains me of the thought of paying someone else to clean my house when I, you know, stay at home. So uh, I take on the cleaning in my house and I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the hard work for you and share with you guys my must have cleaning items. And the majority of the items that I get for cleaning, I get from Grove Collaborative. So if you are a new um, customer to Grove Collaborative, there's gonna be a link below in the description box you can go ahead and sign up and then you're going to get a free um, Mrs. Meyer set if you are a new customer so it's a lot of great products and you're going to get it absolutely free with your first order so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into my must-haves so the first thing um, is something that when I originally first got it I was a little hesitant about but it was because I didn't know how to use it properly um, so the first few times I used this, I was like, Ugh, I don't really like this. But once I learned how to use it, I absolutely love it. So this is the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. So I will use this guy on my sink. I will also use this to go ahead and clean. So I will use this to clean my sink and then I also use this to cleave, um, clean my stove. So this really gets into the nitty gritty of your stove top and it does a great job at not only polishing up your stove, but it does a great job at getting rid of all of the grimy nastiness that gets in the burners of your stove. So I highly, highly recommend this product. So um, what's tricky about this guy is if you let it set for too long, it's going to start to harden. But what I do, is I have a spray bottle with just a little bit of water in it and I will go ahead and spray on top of this if it starts to um, get kind of hard and not easy to wipe away. This product, you need to keep it um, moistened for it to work the best. So absolutely love this guy. And then for my stainless steel appliances, um, I love the Method Steel For Real. So it cleans and it polishes. So I will go ahead and use this on my microwave, my fridge, my dishwasher. Um, I'll also use this to um, polish up my sink as well. So these two paired together does a great job at cleaning your appliances. Uh, I, I cannot live without this guy. So I highly recommend this for cleaning your stainless steel. And now I'm gonna go into some bathroom products. So I use the Method Antibacterial Bathroom Cleaner. So this is a natural bathroom cleaner and it has a very light, subtle scent of spearmint. And the scent is so refreshing. It does a great job at disinfecting all the nastiness that is in your bathroom, but at the same time, it does not give that heavy chemical scent that some of the Lysol products do. I cannot do Lysol anymore. Once I've switched over to this, I will never go back to Lysol because the chemicals in Lysol are so incredibly strong that um, it's just not good, especially if you have kids and dogs, you wanna go switch to something that is a little bit more natural. Um, so this guy cleans bathroom surfaces, sinks and fixtures, tubs, um, tile and toilet seats and it's gonna leave your bathroom smelling minty fresh so you want to you want to have your bathroom smelling fresh and clean with all the stuff that goes on in there and then to go along with the method antibacterial the only toilet bowl cleaner that I use is the method antibacterial toilet bowl cleaner it does its job and it leaves the toilet smelling minty fresh and uh, that's one of the things I love about it is that it gives off such a clean and refreshing smell again something you want after what goes on in the toilet bowl so I highly recommend this stuff and it does its job so you can clean the toilet bowl toilet seats and under the rim so this is what I use for um, toilet bowl cleaning and then when it comes to hand washing dishes, um, I have switched over to the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Dish Detergent. So this is just a liquid dish soap. So this is what I use when I hand wash my um, dishes. And this is also what I use to disinfect bottles and um, pump parts and all of that stuff. So this is the Lemon Verbanda scent. I've also tried the 
um, lavender and I've also tried the peony. I think the peony is my favorite scent um, overall, so I highly recommend this guy. So what's great about this guy is that there's no um, chlorine in it, there's no parabens, so this is again a natural option when it comes to um, cleaning up your dishes. So you don't want extra chemicals left on dishes that your family eats on, so I think it's really good to go ahead and switch over to a natural um, dishwashing detergent as well and this is a degreaser so if you wanted to go ahead and use this guy on your stove you can a trick that you can do is add a little bit of this into a spray bottle of water and if you have say you're cooking like lasagna or you're cooking something that's gonna have a lot of heavy um, grime on a dish what you can do is just spray a little bit of a water and dish soap mixture and then it's gonna help um, combat all of the nastiness on your dishes. So it's gonna help break apart all of the food crust. So lasagna is the one dish that comes to my mind because that is like the worst pot to have to clean after you're done cooking or like chili or if you're doing like a crock pot meal, um, this mixture will be great to, to do that with. And then also you could also spray the mixture of the dish detergent and water onto your stove after you're cleaning up after a large cooking session. So if you're cooking something with a lot of splatter, um, my suggestion would be to spray this on um, immediately and it's gonna make the cleaning go a lot quicker. So love this stuff. And then for my floors, the only thing that I use now is the Method Squirt and Mop. And this stuff, first of all, it smells great. It does wonders on hardwood floor, and it's so incredibly easy. All you have to do is spray this on the floor and then wipe it away. So I highly recommend this guy. If you guys are using a bucket and water, and what's what's one of the common floor cleaners? I think it's like Mr. Clean. If you're if you're actually taking the time to get a bucket of water and dumping it dumping the cleaning solution into the bucket and then like washing your floors like on your hands and knees, you gotta stop doing that because not only is it going to damage your knees, it's just not, it's just not fun. Do something that's a little bit more easy. Okay, so if you are, you know, still in the age of scrubbing your floors on your hands and knees, you need to get up and stop doing that because one, you're gonna be damaging your knees doing that and you just don't need to be on your hands and knees on your floor. So let the Method Squirt and Mop Hardwood Floor Cleaner do its job. And if you have like linoleum, you could also use this on the linoleum just because it says it's hardwood floor cleaner. Doesn't mean that you can only use it on hardwood floors. Um, so this is incredibly easy. And then to pair the mop solution, just Get yourself one of the O-Cedar mops. So I've had this guy since January and I have done away with those Swifter wet mop refills. I've done away with that because this guy, it has a microfiber um, mop on one end and then it has the floor mop on the other end. And what's really cool about this mop is you can wash it. So you've done away with having to deal with those um, refills. So you don't have to buy the Swifters anymore. You don't have to buy the Swifter wet mops anymore. All you do is you take the Velcro off and then you pop this guy into the um, washing machine and then you can get multiple uses out of this. So all you have to do is buy this mop one time and then you can reuse it over and over again. And here in California, we are really big on reusing stuff. So <laughs> the less things that you're throwing away in the trash to then pile up in landfills, the better. And to go on with that same note, microfiber towels, you guys. You need to stop buying paper towels for your cleaning. All you need to do is buy a pack of microfiber towels and you could clean every surface with this and then dump it into the washing machine and reuse it. So if you have not switched over to microfiber towels, you need to. So I'm gonna have a link to that mop and these microfiber towels that you can just get on Amazon. It's really, really easy. Just click on Amazon and get yourself some microfiber towels and get yourself a mop that you can throw into the washing machine. So get rid of the bucket, get rid of the water, get rid, just get rid. <laughs> Okay, so the last two things I'm gonna talk about are also for Method. So if you have seen a trend, I really like Method products. So the first thing is the Method Wood for Good Daily Clean. So I use this guy on my kitchen table. We have a wooden kitchen table, dining room table. And then I also use this for um, the chairs. So if you guys have kids, 
like stuff gets all over the chairs like I don't understand how all their food gets all over the chairs it's just craziness so um, I switched over to this guy about two months ago prior to that I was using just a regular um, disinfecting cleanser and it just wasn't doing the job of cleaning up the wood because I wasn't using a cleaner that was meant for wood so I would highly recommend if you have wooden furniture that you want to go ahead and polish and clean up I would highly recommend the method wood for good daily clean so this cleans and dusts so if you have other wooden surfaces in your house you can go ahead and spray this guy on it um, so you can do it on tables counters walls shelves and panels so anything that's wooden in your house i would definitely recommend going and picking this guy up and it works really well um, paired with the microfiber towels and then the last thing i'm going to talk about is the method daily granite so this clean and polishes your granite it also works on quartz countertops or just basic um, countertops so i highly recommend this guy um, this is in apple orchard the scent is lovely but it's not overpowering so like i was mentioning earlier i find that other cleaners like lysol cleaners the scent is just so incredibly strong i just I just don't like it um, and a lot of times I've noticed that if I use a lot of Clorox and Lysol like some of the regular cleaning products something that I've noticed that if I inhale too much of it like the next day I will wake up with like a stuffy nose and like cold like symptoms so um, I have not experienced that with any of the um, method cleaners that I have been mentioning so this does a great job at cleaning up your granite and your um, quartz countertops and sometimes if I um, run out of my stainless steel cleaner then I'll go ahead and use this guy and it does a great job also um, and then now the last thing I'm gonna talk about I get so excited about cleaning products when I find products that work really well I get really excited to clean because I'm just weird so let me know in the comments below if you are also excited over cleaning products so um, I do like to keep some disinfecting wipes because I will clean the kids um, like toys with this. I'll also clean their little play um, table that they have outside in their play chairs. And you know, it's always good to have these. Um, I'll use this for the garbage cans. I'll also use this sometimes um, in the bathroom as well because I will not use microfiber towels to clean a toilet. I won't do that. If I'm gonna clean a toilet, I'll use um, paper towels or I'll use the disinfecting wipes because if I'm gonna, you know, disinfect my toilet, I wanna discard whatever paper product I'm using to clean it. I will never use the microfiber towels with cleaning the toilet. It just, that just grosses me out. <laughs> um, so also, and I just go ahead and flush these. So when I clean um, the toilet with this, I will just go ahead and just flush this wipe. Or if I'm cleaning out the sink, um, I'll go ahead and just flush it and it'll be gone. Um, so I highly recommend these the scent is very light. It's not have it doesn't have that heavy chemical scent that some of the um, Lysol wipes will have so I highly recommend these especially if you have kiddos um, These are just my go-to if you guys are at all interested in any of the cleaning products that I mentioned the seventh generation method or mrs. Myers definitely check out Grove collaborative if you are a new customer you're gonna get a free mrs. Myers set with the link that is below um, I'm also going to leave a link below to the microfiber towels and the um, mop that you can just throw into the washing machine. I highly recommend those. If there's anything you're going to invest in your cleaning stock, you want to invest in things that you can reuse over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I will talk to everyone later and I will see you next week with another must-have Monday video. So I will talk to everyone later and now I'm going to get to cleaning. Bye.